A very unusual story developing this afternoon. Six former eBay security officers charged by the FBI with stalking. Let's go to Deirdre Bosa for that story. Deirdre, the things uh, they are alleged to have done are very disturbing. Tell us about it. They are indeed, Tyler. So I'm just going to show you these items taken from the filing were allegedly sent to a couple who run an online newsletter that was apparently critical of eBay. So what you're going to see here, uh, there's a Halloween mask in the middle of a dead pig's head, a book of advice on surviving the loss of a spouse, and a Hustler magazine mailed not to the couple, but to their next door neighbors with their names on it. Now, according to the document, there was also a box of live cockroaches, a funeral wreath, and numerous anonymous threatening messages. Now, federal prosecutors say that they were sent by six former eBay security off officers in an effort to stifle criticism that they thought was coming from the couple's newsletter. Now, that was apparently only part of the strategy, though. The eBay employees are accused of then notifying the couple of the harassment and offering help, what prosecutors are calling a white knight strategy. Now, eBay earlier responded today saying that it was notified of these actions by law enforcement in August of 2019. They fired the employees and launched their own internal investigation. Guys, the reason that eBay says that it didn't address the matter publicly until now is they said that they didn't want to interfere with the government's investigation. Back to you. Deirdre, has anybody been charged in this investigation? Not yet, but these are the charges that are laid out. And Tyler, too, I also want to mention that the statement from eBay that came earlier today does mention Devin Wenig. He was CEO at the time at eBay. They said that they found no evidence that he authorized these actions or knew about them beforehand, but they did say that there was some inappropriate communication. So something to dig into there, perhaps.